Well, you can't touch everything in there. So many um, issues and stuff. Uh, you want to say hi to the people? Hi, people. <laughs> but uh, dealing with uh, the inverter charger, which um, right now is showing 14.2 volts, but that's because the generator is off. Uh, when, before I turned it off, it was at 11. Uh, it was showing 11 one or something like that uh, i can't yeah i uh, know it's showing 11 7 when the batteries were actually at 14 something and we've been trying to troubleshoot this all this time with the um uh with the with renergy hey chickens see the chickens my chunk <laughs> okay but um now i uh, the homestead problems just getting back from ats assessing uh home and the camper and everything and now have to get a wrench out because of course our hot water heater blew i thought i drained it out that's it right there i thought i drained it out completely it has a drain plug down there and um it didn't do the job that I was expecting it to. Must have been a drop or two of water somewhere in the coils. And poof, uh, it's just leaking water. So I'm going to unhook that. Uh, it is under warranty. Make sure you get the warranty on stuff that's important like this. And we have to go to Camping World to go get another one. So that's the hot water heater. It's going to be warm for quite some time, and we sh may be good for another two years. Yes. You want to go inside? Okay. And here we are at the camping world. Oh, back on property after the trip to Camping World. You want, go ahead, you go inside. So now I have to get this thing opened up and set up just like the last one. Why is this tape like this? Hopefully this wasn't pre-used. That, you, my chunk. You have to wait until you screw on the hoses with that. You can't hammer stuff with it. Yeah. You want to help me? Yeah. Okay. You reading it? What letter is that? Yes, that is a R. What letter is this? What letter is it? I know. You don't know? Yes, you do. No, I know. It's the same letter as this. Okay, I'm going to open it up. We're not going to use that to open it up, okay? No, we don't want to do that to that. Because then we'll break it. We don't want to break it. All right, I cut the tape off. You go ahead and open it. Lift it up. We have a brand new one. With all the hoses and everything. Yeah. Tool kit. Tool kit. Some Teflon tape. Mm -hmm. Another shower head. Okay. Got a few of those by now. Yes, that's for the propane. That's yep. a propane uh, regulator. Yes. This is the instruction booklet. Do we need it? You want to take it out? You going to read it and read the instructions? No, we're just going to hook it up. Oh, cool. 
what? You have it upside down. <laughs> You're silly. So we already know how to set it up. We, what do we need? Um, we, we need the wrench and we have to take this out. You're going to take the plastic off? Yeah, go that way. You're going to go that way? Oh, oh, you want to get your bucket out of the way? Okay. Well, I'm going to take this out and get it prepared to be set up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Can you take those plastic caps off? Pull it off. Pull it off. Uh-oh. Can you get that one? You have to twist it off. Not that. Twist this off. There it goes. All done. You going to pick it up? You want me to get it? Okay. I got it. So now we just have to put some Teflon tape on it, which we have in the pack right here. Let's open it up. There's a Teflon tape. No, it doesn't go in there. We have to wrap it around here and here. It doesn't work like that. We have to open it. Okay? Yeah. Well, there goes my little helper. Hey. <laughs> we got everything hooked up. Now, gonna, uh, gonna turn on the water and pressure test it. What are you looking for? A little toy. It's, no, it's no toys down here. Toy. No. Toy. It's no toys. No toy. Nope, it's no toys. Okay? We have to go turn on the water, okay? Yeah. Be careful getting down. <laughs> All right. Turn that one on. And open this one up. Here, bubbles. Don't see any leaks. Now I have to turn on the power to the camper. All right, now at the Renogy One Core, I have to go up here, scroll up, and turn the power on inside the camper. Did I press it good? Nope. And just like that, the lights are on inside. And now the pump is trying to bring water down the line. So now we got to get all the air out of the line. And then we'll get back over to the hot water heater. So that's the air out of the line here. All right. We have everything all hooked up. There's no leaks or anything. Teflon tape is doing its job. There's no leaks on the inside. Got the batteries. There's a little chunk in the window. My little helper. <laughs> and now, let's make sure it's off. Get these D batteries in here. Right. and oh got to turn the propane on propane is back on all right babe turn on the water so getting a flow let's all right we got hot water again now we're just going to have to figure out the settings on what's the best to keep it nice and toasty with our hot showers, 
for our um, uh, washing dishes and everything else, but it's all working good. There's Miss Lovely Dudley up in the window. Everything's sounding good. Light is dim, but it's on. Everything is working, getting heat from the top. And you know what? Maybe keep the flow somewhere in the middle, propane high, and we're good to go. Well, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all learned something. I'm not sure if I did a video on this before. The last time that the um, hot water heater uh, froze and burst, but I'm so glad that we keep getting that warranty from uh, Camping World. Just in case uh, everything freezes up, we're not home to drip the lines or it just decides to crap out. So that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. This is the Dudley Hillside Homestead, the things that we got to deal with. Uh, hopefully y'all don't have to deal with it as well. But if you do, you know what to do. Have a blessed day. Shalom.